Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a review and swatches on the new ColourPop lip glosses. These are the Ultra Glossy Lips by ColourPop. Um, these were $6 each on ColourPop.com. I've done a review for ColourPop before. Everyone loves ColourPop. I mean, it's nothing new, but these glosses are new. These did um, just come out. Um, I think they have 21 shades in total, but I have eight of the colors. I didn't get all 21 shades because some of them just look a little wonky to me and I didn't think that they would be cute. I don't know. I don't know. They probably are, but I just got the ones that I felt like I would wear the most and that I would, um, that would get the most use in, um, all in all. So I have eight colors here. I'm going to swatch each one. I'm going to apply each one onto my lips so that you can see how they look. I'm not going to put any lipstick or anything underneath so that you can see the true um, the true color and you can see how um, pigmented they are and if they can be worn alone or not. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the swatches. So I'm going to start with Master Plan. So let me just take off this lipstick that I have on now. Okay, so this one is Master Plan and you can't really see the lettering. It looks like it's a little um, faded. It's a little bit faded, not much, but this is Master Plan and it's like a mauve purplish color and let's just see how it looks on the lips. A lot comes out on the, on the applicator. These tubes seem like they're a little bit bigger than the actual um, liquid lipstick tubes too. I don't know if it's just me, but they seem like they're like a little bit bigger. Really pretty. And this is Master Plan. This color is so pretty. I really, really like this one a lot. This is pretty. This is Master Plan. Moving on to the next one. And I forgot to mention, Master Plan does not have any shimmers or anything in it. It's just pretty flat. Um, I think I have two that have shimmer in it that have like a, a metallic finish. And I'll let you know when I get to those two. But I'll, let me just show you all the colors so that you know which ones that are going to be doing today. So these are all of them. So I'm going to just jump right into the next one in no particular order. And this one is WeHo. This is creme at the bottom. This is what say at the bottom. Creme as well. So I'm guessing creme are the ones without any shimmer. And the ones with shimmer are metallic. That makes sense. So creme. Miho. Okay. I can see myself wearing this without a lipstick. These are pretty pigmented. This is WeHo. Really, really pretty nude color. It's really nude. It's really pretty nude, actually. It's not too pale for my skin tone. But it's really pretty. WeHo. So let's move on to the next one. The next one I'm going to grab is called Saddle Up, and it says Sheer. Okay, so that's another one. So I guess if it's a sheer, creme, and metallic so far. So this is a sheer one, so I'm assuming that it's going to go on pretty sheer. And it's like an orangey, tangerine-ish color. So I'm for sure that this one will probably need to be worn over top of um, a lipstick. Or if you just want like a light little sheer color to your lips, that's fine. Not everyone wants their lips to be like really popping all the time. So this is Saddle Up and this is Tangerine Orangey Sheer Lip Gloss. Really pretty. Really sheer. But on those days when you don't really want to have a beat face, you just want to put some lip gloss on, this would be perfect for that. So that's Saddle Up. Be good. They're really moisturizing. They're not really, really that sticky. This one wasn't that sticky. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see with my next ones. But so far, I don't think they were that sticky. They're not really sticky. And this is called Bestie, and it's a cream. 
It's like a pretty pinkish um, nudie color. Bestie. This is Bestie, a little palish pink color. I'd wear this one alone as well. I'd wear all of these so far alone except for saddle, unless I'm going for that kind of look, really sheer, not too much going on kind of look. But if I have a full face and I want like a lipstick that's, or uh, lip gloss that's really, lip color that's really pigmented, I probably would, would wear one of these alone. I wouldn't wear saddle alone if I'm going for that kind of look. But this is Bestie. Moving on. Okay. So the next one I'm going to grab, I'm going to do a shimmer. Let's just throw a shimmer in the mix. And this is Tight Fit Metallic. And this is a metallic, and it's like a nudie peachy color, but it has some um, flecks of glitter and shimmer in it. So let's, let's just see how it works. And these all have a dofa applicator. They all have the same type of applicator. Wow. This is tight fit. I like it. I think it's really pretty. It's different. It has a metallic finish. Something that we've been seeing a lot of lately. Everybody has a metallic lipstick or lip gloss now. I think this one is really cute though. And this is tight fit. Very pretty. So I have three more colors to go. And it leaves glitter on your lips. I probably should have did the two metallic ones last. I didn't realize it would be like this. All right, so I'm gonna do the other metallic one last, and I'm gonna just jump right into this one, which is Finders Keepers. I think this was like one of the first ones that I play in my cart because I really like the color. It actually looks pretty similar to Master Plan. So these are the two of them together. This is Master Plan, and this is Finders Keepers. So let's see the difference in how they actually look on the lips. And this is a cream. Finders Keepers is a cream. They glide on really smooth. Really moisturizing. I like it. It looks very similar to that one to me on my skin tone. Um, probably someone of lighter complexion. You probably could see more of the difference in color, but to me, this looks the same as master plan but I like both of them so now I have two so I think this one might be a little bit lighter just a little bit yeah like a little bit lighter but it's really really pretty and this is finders keepers moving on two more that metallic one is like still there this last one, oh not last one, second to last one is a sheer and it's called Dropout. This is the color. It's like a burgundy brownish color. And it's a sheer. So it's not gonna be as opaque as the creams. This is pretty. I actually like this a whole lot. Drop out. It's really pretty. It's sheer, but it could be worn alone. Just when I would wear alone, it's a sheer. Really smooth. Really pretty. 
I really like this one drop out. This is really, really nice. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. When I was looking at the colors on the website, some of them I was kind of like, mm, I don't really know if I'm gonna like that one. But I really like all of these. I probably will go back and get more now that I'm seeing that, you know, all of the colors are really nice. Let's just try this last one and see how it goes. The metallics are pretty on, but when it comes down to wiping them off, if you have like makeup on and you just like change your lip colors, be careful because it will get like all around your mouth if you're not like neat with it. So just just with the metallic ones. But I'm gonna try this last metallic one, which is called My Jam. And I heard that that was like one of the most popular ones on the site. So let's see how it looks. This is my jam. This reminds me of like a 90s Mary J. Blige lipstick lip color. I like it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna show you the back. I don't really think I showed y'all the back. Oh, my. my jam. But this is so pretty. So, that's the eight ColourPop Ultra Glossy lip colors that I have. I hope that you enjoyed this review slash swatches. Um, more more swatches rather than a review. I mean, it's ColourPop. Everybody likes ColourPop. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the colors that are brown skin girl friendly. And I felt that, you know, um, one more of the popular ones that people would pick up. Um, I really like all of them. I think I'm going to go back and get some more. I'm not totally sure yet, but I do like these colors that I did pick out. I hope that you guys enjoyed enjoyed these swatches um let me know down below which ones that you picked out and which ones do you think i should go back and pick up because i'm really not sure like they have 21 colors that's a lot of colors to choose from and i really don't need every single color that's there so if you guys can help me out with that that would be great let me know which colors you have if you've done a video on it tag me and let me know um which video you did so i could go watch it and see what colors you chose um until then you can follow me on instagram my Instagram is mayaboo7, that's M-A-I-Y-A-H-B-O-O, -O, and the number seven. Um, until then, I'll see you guys next time, and um, 